Yo oh guys, what's up? This is Toxro Gaming, and today I'm gonna be going through an NG Plus tutorial and basically showing you my route. For this route, you're gonna want to have an intermediate to advanced uh, level of skill in this game, so you're not gonna want to be brand new, or and you're not gonna want to just barely be getting into it because. This route does Squid's Dream Sock, which and uh, lag clips, but a lot of these tricks can easily be substituted for Guppy Mound, and I'll explain where you would probably want to pick out things for Guppy Mound and what would be best. So, that out of the way, just let's just get into it. So I have my split file. You're gonna probably want to have to, or you're probably gonna want to create your own. What you want to do is you want to press new game and click no and start the game. Alright. First thing we do is different from any percent. You're going to want to pause, press X, hold both triggers, and while you do, press X, Y, X, Y, X, X, Y, Y. And you'll hear the sound break. effect in Y, X, Y, X, Y, Y, X, X. Again, that's X, Y, X, Y, X, X, Y, 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 X, Y, X, Y, Y, X, X. And you have to do it fairly fast, and you have to be holding the triggers and not putting any analog movement. So keep that in mind. I'm not going to, like, I can just say the codes one last time. X, Y, X, Y, X, X, Y, Y. That gives you the bubble bowl. And Y, X, Y, X, Y, Y, X, X gives you the cruise bubble. And then this part is just going to be like what you would do in any percent. So we're just going to go around and we're going to get the shinies. You know, just regular any percent stuff. You can bowl into that. I didn't bowl into it there. And then you just collect the spatula. Now we exit the pineapple. When you exit the pineapple, you can bowl into the door and save a small amount of time. And now we're going to do fast disable. I'm going to try and show you all the ways of fast disable. You're going to see the splits going over, don't worry about it. So, fast disable can be done a few ways. A, you can do it like you would in any percent where you go over here and get grabbed. I'm not going to show that way. B, uh, this one's a bit more difficult, but it can be done. You can do plankton boost or you can come to the door. And you want to basically bowl when you go over the tax pad and stuff. If you do this correctly, then the hand will grab you and you'll load into the level. Or C, the way that I find easiest and that most people find easiest. Okay, you're probably going to want to do is you're going to be bowling on the tax pad. So what we want to do... We're gonna come over here. You're gonna stand like basically parallel with the pole, just perpendicular. If you want to look at it from Bob, um, turn your camera until uh, the hills. Like there's two hills to the right, the back hill. Turn it until the camera is like, or the pole is barely to the left of it, and then hold forward and bowl. Just take some experience or some getting used to. If you do it right, then you should pull off the platform and be able to accept the taxi pad. So if you do this, let's say you get like this, that doesn't work. You have to be off the taxi pad. Sometimes I've even gotten it where like I'm right here. That doesn't work either. Because we want to get grabbed by the hand when we accept the taxi pad. So I'm just going to show it again. It's really easy once you get used to it, but I just showed you and I gave you some little pointers on where to line the camera up. Now we're going to do Kawabungie. You would skip the cutscene. You could do Squid RCB. I'm going to show the easier way. You come down here and you get a cruise boost. You can do this without, or it's worth noting that you can do this without cruise boost too, but it's faster if you're really good with cruise boosting. And then we just run across, like you wouldn't name person. This jump's a lot easier. You just double jump instead of double jump spin. 
Then you want to look down and try and space to the spatula. And then we're here. So now I'm going to go through the few pineapple ways we can do. So the no cruise boost way where you don't get a cruise boost yet, you could just do what you do in 80% where I like to do this. Get the underwear wear and then jump underwear. over here. That's without the cruise boost. Now there's a few ways you can do it with the cruise boost. The first way takes some getting used to. So we're gonna get cruise boost off the special box door. I wish cruise boost would work for me today. And we're gonna come over here, dump through the nose, bash. And when we bash, you want to try and land on the other ear. I'm not too experienced with this way, but I do know that it works. So if you can do that, and if you want to practice that, this is the fastest way to do it. Another way with the cruise boost, I think it's slower than the no cruise boost way, is just come over here and bash and slam if you need to. Land on the ear, and then come up here and just do this. After you get the spatula, if you didn't get the, if you didn't get it with the cruise boost, then you want to come and get a cruise boost here. And now we're going to move on to hub glide. So just go around everything. Try not to get any of the text boxes. You can go in between them. I have a video on this, but I'm going to shortly try and explain it again and try and help you out here. Uh, there's also shady glide that saves 10 seconds, but we're going to be doing hub glide. What we want to do is you want to line up so that Spongebob's not drifting to the right and he's barely drifting to the left. Like, don't make it like mega drift to the left like this. Let's make it barely drift to the left. Like this. And you want, or like this. And then you want to like full jump, full double jump and slam. And if you have it lined up right, then you should just get into the glide. And you want to line up so that you're just straight on with the camera. Missed it there. But you want to line it up so that, like you don't have to move the camera and you're just straight on and it looks like you're straight with the camera and you should get a pop. That's something you're going to want to practice because you've never done it in uh, any percent or pretty much any other category I wouldn't believe if you're learning in for the first time. All the NG Plus things, by the way, I'm going to go through kind of slow and explain them. The any person things, I'm going to bring them up, show you how to do them, and then I'm just going to uh, skip over them. I'm not going to go as in detail. You can see I'm missing it. It's very particular about your cruise boost speed, so try and get like the fastest possible. The game doesn't like me with cruise boost sitting, but... Let's see. Come over here. I think you can also single jump. Like, I believe I like the single jump. But you can see we got the pop. You want to jump over here to tree dome when you do. And then we're going to come over here and we're going to bowl into the shoals stuff. So, what we want to do after this is you want to get a cruise boost on the side of the police station. And we're basically going to get the shoals back. Be careful of where you land on the shoal spat. You want to try and land, like, I guess as close to the edge as possible. Or else you can get a blue screen. And we don't want to get a blue screen. We want to, we want to do the spat and get it done. And also be careful because sometimes the blocks can flip your position if you're not careful. So just walk into it and we'll see if we got it. If you don't want to, or if the timer's still on, try and jump to the far block. The jump jump spin, or jump jump spin slam. If not, then come over here and bash up here. There's two ways you can get to the next bat, which we're going to do on top of the chum bucket. The any person way, which I'll show, or you can do the new way. So you come on top of this, uh, I guess, pole, get on the edge, and then bash, jump, slam. You're going to want to space some jumps and slam. 
it is kind of advanced and it does require like a really fast crew boost and good jump spacing but you can do it definitely if you try don't collect that anywhere that's, that's bad almost made it but i'm not going to show you like getting it i'm just explaining it but that's the essential thing now what you want to do if you're doing this way is bash onto the peg and bash to the top of the sign and then double jump here and then just uh hold to the right and to the left like you're making a half circle double jumping off the buttons and then bash at the top to get the spatula i just realized that i split really wrong so now what we want to do is jump down get the crabs warp and we're gonna just pull into the bucket I'm, I'm my splits are kind of bad don't look at this what we're gonna do now is you're gonna do the bucket just like you regularly would you don't have to get the crabs warp there you can get it after the bucket in fact you probably should because after this we, we just warp to the on top of the trump bucket as fast as it is and then we go dream so as you can see, I'm very far behind on the splits. I don't know why I'm very far behind, but... Talk to Bold Buddy, and we're into Dream. With sleep comes to dream. Now what you want to do is you're, we're going to do Super Bounce first. So, just do any person Super Bounce. I'm not going to explain this too much because... You probably know how to do super bounce. But you can see like I failed. Rip. The splits are gonna catch up, don't worry. Okay, so we're gonna get the spat, and then we're gonna enter into Squid's Dream. So you're just gonna drop down, you can pull off, do whatever. But I like to spam the right trigger, because then we're in Squid's Dream. For heavens! Now, you could do Squid's Dream soft cycle, or you could just do regular Squid's Dream. If you do Squid's Dream regular, then you're gonna have to get another sock, and I'll explain where the socks are. The optional socks. But this is a sock that's within my route, and it's one of the fastest socks, so it's recommended. So you just get a cruise boost first try, or, or second, and then you use some trampolines and you do some stuff. Keep in mind that if you don't get the first try cruise boost, that the cycle is going to be kind of tight. You're gonna you're gonna have a harder time, especially as a beginner. Squid stream talk. If you miss it too, like I just missed it, then you would just come over here. I like to jump and hold back so I get my spin back and gain control again. And there we are. So do Squid's Dream however you want, but remember that if you don't get the sock, that you're going to be a sock behind what I have. And we're going to go into uh, Sandy's Dream, and we're basically just going to do Sandy's Dream like Sandy's Dream. It's the same stuff that you regularly do in 80%. There's also Fast Nut, which I believe saves around 15 seconds, so do that if you know how to do it. But Sandy's Dream is in pretty much every single category I know. So you just do the trigger thing. On the last shot, which we got an extra underwear you don't get, you you can do the skydive, which I think is pretty cool. I'm just gonna split there. Alright, now we're gonna do Forbidden Skip. So this is just like Forbidden Late if you've ever heard of it. CNG plus way. 
You could try for the camera lock. I'm not too sure about it, but I'm gonna do forbidden like this. So you bash, slam, bash, and turn your camera. Sometimes you'll go off the edge, and that's okay. Sometimes you'll get a camera lock. I'm just gonna, I'm just showing you how to get this back. You can learn the camera angle for the camera lock where you stay. But if you if you fall off, then warp back to the first bat. Now we're gonna do what we'll, we'll call oil skip skip. So if you died, get another cruise boost in the same spot, and then we're gonna get on the box and bash slam. And we're gonna go up here, and we're gonna get on the bowling thing. So we're gonna get on this, and then you space your jumps, slam here. Make sure you're facing away from the edge, or you zoom in your camera for the stack. Or else you will die, you will fall, like this. Really unfortunate when you do, but it happens. Good boots really don't like you today. I find this- whoa, okay, fine. They don't like me. I find this easier than oil skip, but if you're comfortable with oil skip, you can do that as well. If this is more of a struggle, I think oil skip loses time over this. I'm not 100%, but I believe that oil skip would lose some sort of time over this. We're gonna jump, jump, spin, slam. I like to zoom in my camera, like I said, but you don't have to. Then we're gonna get Pat's dream. With that now we're gonna go into google goon so warp down to crabs and then we're gonna talk to patrick on the way to google goon probably like you regularly do in any person so talk to pat get the sock you can do the cutscene skip i'm gonna show it you just jump jump spin and hold in i didn't get it there but on to google goon when we load into Google Goon, get a cruise boost. That's uh, easiest thing you can say is you can get one back here in the rocks. I think that's what they do in the uh, top level stuff. I like getting one off the sign, but pretty much any wall that you can get one off of, you can get. Cruise boost. Hold up, I was hearing something. It's like the ice cream man's outside, but. But we're gonna do this, we're gonna platform through here. Uh, skip the cutscene. You can also do the cutscene skip if you know how to do it. It's probably easier in NG. And then talk to Larry. Now, what I do, I like to avoid Mrs. Puff, Puff because it just uh, loses time. But make sure you get the checkpoint. Then we're gonna jump up here, and you're gonna and then double jump here and get this off. Can be kind of tight, I get it. But like, double jump here. Be sure you get on or uh, get the sock. You don't want to get the sock because maybe it's too slow or whatever. Again, I'm gonna show some alternative socks that you can get. Then we're gonna double jump to the pole with the purple tiny. And we're gonna do pole jump. If you lose your cruise boost, just go back and get one on the shaft. This is probably one of the hardest parts of NG Plus. Don't be frustrated if you don't get it. Sometimes the cycles are weird. Things happen. You can also do ETG if this is a bit difficult for you. So don't worry if, if, if you can't get this and just do ETG. Like you would in 80%. I keep bringing up any percent because I'm assuming you do any percent before this. So there's a few ways you can do this. Get on the top of the pole, double jump, spin, slam. Most times you're gonna miss it if you don't know how to space the jump or if you haven't before. But that's one way. There's another way with the bat. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna come up here.
get on top of the pole if I can. I like to just die if I don't get it. This trick can be kind of tricky, like I said, so if you're not getting it first try, if you're not getting it very quick, then just practice it. I believe you can also just do this. Yeah, you can do that, but it's, I think it's more tight. I like to do the double jump spin and slam, but you can also do that back. Sometimes you don't land on the pole. If you want to have the left type jump, then you can land on the thing below it. I think that this is just optimal movement to get on top of this and do this, but I'm not sure. Well, I'm finally just going to do it. Alright, once you're here, get rev your cruise boost and cruise bubble the box that you would regularly hit with the spin. And then we're going to switch to Pat and enter into here as Patrick. Okay, so now we're going to do SBA. Do SBA as you wish. I'm going to go over Frame Perfect 2 Tiki in this, but you can do SBA as you wish. Also, keep in mind that you can get the dupe sock where you hold the dupe over here. If you didn't get one of the socks and you want a replacement, it loses six seconds, and so it's pretty good. Uh, if you need a replacement. Come over here, I like killing the hammer bot. You don't have to. And we're gonna get the first tiki. I believe it's faster to grab one and then throw it and then do some other stuff. I don't know. I'm just going to show this. I like to throw him by the sign. So that, well that, that time it kind of failed. So I can go on the sign and fall off and pick up one of them. But you can do it however you wish, as always. Probably not any faster or any slower to do it with the way I do it, but frame perfect two tiki is gonna be something that you're gonna want with this. Alright. It's very inconsistent as we recently found out. So whatever. But if you wanna line up so that you're like running into the three, and then you wanna put it so that your left foot is like right on the brown line like this kind of and we're gonna throw it that one was kind of a bit i believe i was behind it a little bit so you probably want to go a bit further forward like this sometimes it's just weird we don't go for the regular sba like what you learned in the t the beginner tutorial we go for this just make sure you're like on the brown line and we get it you've probably gotten this and been like oh it's messed up and went and gotten it this is actually a way called frame perfect and you just throw the second tiki on top yep and then the rest of this is just what you do in uh, regular sba stuff for this route we need 39 or we need 41.8k to the here, this.
Okay, I, I don't know if you can hear me. I'm gonna wait until SBA is done. Okay, so if you did a frame perfect, you should be way over in Chinese. If not, then just have a look at it. Now we're going to go and do the crabs, uh, the cutscene skip. So press, or you're going to want to go to the box. I, I thought we were swum by crabs on accident, but go to the box. Talk to crabs. So when you get here, I usually like to count to three really fast. It's so like one, two, three, jump up and do the cutscene skip. This is because uh, you'll hit the G love otherwise. Okay. I don't know why I was a gold crabs. Probably because I was really bad with it, but. Now we're gonna do the caves. What you wanna do here? Because you want to get the spat and go through the box to start. So we're going to get the spat. Go through the box. Or actually, it's faster to warp. So if you don't go through the box, then you can also just warp it through the sea caves. And you'll automatically be Bob if you do this. And then what we want to do... What? Pull through it. Now we're gonna do the uh moat. So we're gonna get this bat. And I'm just gonna show you and I explain this. So what you wanna do is come over here, you wanna land on the second platform. And you wanna have Bob facing these three poles that are like right above his head. And then you wanna cruise boost. And you want to hold to the left a little bit and go down once you get here. And you should be able to hit the button. So if you're if you're missing it, then you're probably like over here. And this is going to miss, right? Yeah, this, that misses. So if you miss, it's probably more to the left than you think. So if you don't see it whenever you go over that, then hold to the left. And you can't you can get a cruise boost off this. You don't have to get the cruise boost. I think it's like barely faster. But yeah, get the cruise boost. In fact, you even die, so I would probably recommend against it. And then we're gonna go talk to Larry. So just warp to the second spat and talk to Larry like you would. Okay. Now we're going to go do our crab trades. So you're going to want to warp to on top of the pineapple. And we're going to do seven crab trades. Why not eight? Because it's faster to do seven. So when you have 26 spats, you're done. Also, I forgot to mention this. If you're in need of some socks, then the two socks on the on top of the so that the thing over there, I'm gonna work back there and back and show you what I mean. They're actually so they're actually not that bad. So if you're still in need of socks because you don't do some of the socks in this route, then you can do the so ones that are that on top of the uh, castle. So that and you would want to do them before you do the pier thing, I believe. So you can do them after or before. It probably doesn't matter too much. Well, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna warp back here and go through the sea caves and show you. Don't do this if you already have done this, or if you've already been the the castle and you're okay with everything. Okay. You don't need to get these socks, these are just replacement socks. You want to you jump up here, jump jump spin, and get the one on top of the castle. 
That can... This one can be kind of weird because there's an invis wall be, uh, below the pole. But you basically want to like jump off and then jump in and land on the little platform down there. These socks are slower, that's why they're not on the route. But like I said, if you need replacement socks, these are good replacement socks. Sometimes you'll get a ledge grab, it's like right there, it just messed me up. Also, keep in mind that I'm gonna have more socks than you if you're not getting. If you're getting all the right songs. So after you do the crab trade, so like let's say I wasn't on top of the pineapple. And I've just done my crab trades. Which you do seven, remember, you should have 26 spats. You wanna warp to a cowabungee. Now what we wanna do here, you don't go and hit the button. Come to, or you can get a crew juice anywhere. I really like this walk the most. It's probably the easiest spot here. You can do something called annoying bash, or that's what I call it, where you can bash and jump, but it's kind of tight. So I wouldn't recommend it, but you can get a ledge grab. That saves some time overdoing this other way, which this other way is. We just come over here. What we want to do is jump. I even jumped to the wrong place. You want to jump to this rock and you want to jump off like as late as you can and try and slam. If you get this, bash up. Okay. I lost my cruise boost to the hammer bot, which is actually not that bad. It's pretty easy to get another one. It's not as easy as I thought, but... Okay. I got messed up by that bot, but it's alright. So jump off as late as you can, spin, slam. Another one you can get is JF Rock. I like to jump up here. And we can get JF Rock, you just have to jump, bash when you land on it, get this off. There's collision there, so it's not as uh, bad as it looks. And what you want to do is spin, bash, slam. So you want to be on this platform. The, the last platform. Don't try and jump up from JF Rock to the first one, because that's a scripted trampoline. You want to bash, slam, then hold to the right and get up here. And then you just complete this as regular. You can do a spatula animation skip, but I've never really done it. So, top of the hill is done. Okay, Dilemma. These two socks in Dilemma, always get. Easy as that. Wow. What we want to do is you can go on to the side of the rock, you can get box bash, whatever. But you want to get food first. And then we go down the slide. Keep in mind when you have a cruise boost, you want to constantly be jumping. So always just double jump. What did you can? And then we're gonna get this off. There's the sock. And we're gonna jump over here. Come down here. So this could be kind of weird. If you need to get the cutscene because you don't know the spacing, then do that. But otherwise, try and be to the left, and just jump to the left, and come into the right at the last second, and you can get to this rock pretty easy. I'll show this again. Try and miss the cutscene trigger if you don't, then it's fine. And then just go around it. Then spin the dupe, jump, jump, spin, slam. And we did the Loma skip. Next is Spell on Pizza. 
There's multiple ways to get this button. I like doing the melon, so the melon, easy each way. And then press B when you get near the Tiki. And then there's a bunch of signs, so just press B a few times. Pop the bob. And we're gonna get a cruise boost. Whoops. Get a cruise boost on the side of this rock or the train. And then jump, jump, spin. You need to slam, slam. And we're basically gonna do spell on King Skip like you would in any other category. From a different area. You can do this with or without a cruise boost. Uh, you can like you can get rid of it once you're up here. I like to get, I like to not get rid of it, but you know. Yeah, like I just died. I don't know why I just died. That is very unfortunate. But yeah, do spell and king skip. Here we go. We're just gonna do it again because I messed up. Remember, you can get the ledge grab however you want. I do this, and then we can do this. Press A so you don't get rid of your cruise boost if you're going for the, the bash or the way where you don't get the button. And then we get this back. Then spin, and bash, jump, and you'll ledge grab. Time for that's kind of bad, kind of weird, but you'll get used to it. This route doesn't do DTLC as you probably notice. So we're just gonna do canyons and mesas. So you're just gonna immediately go to the top of the canyons. Okay, that's if I can get cruises. So you wanna hold in, skip the cutscene, jump to this. And you could do whatever, bath or whatever, but double jump. Come in between these rocks, bash, bash again, and then we're gonna do this. You can do the double jump, or you can do the wall jump way, or you can do the ramp way. Do whichever way you know. I'm gonna show the ramp way. Get this off. So you wanna go near the end of the ramp, Whenever it starts like tilting down on you, then turn around and run up. You can get rid of your cruise boost here, or you can cam or zoom in, and you won't fall if you're facing towards the wall, not the open area. Unzoom your camera and come here. King Jellyfish, this is just simple stuff, you know. We're gonna do the King Jelly fight. So you just literally cruise bubble a few times and then go down the slide and get this off. So once we get through here, you're gonna wanna start looking to the right, jump, and the off. And then you wanna get this back. I almost missed. And warp to the first bat. And get this. Okay. Now we're gonna go Mermelair. So we're gonna warp up and we're gonna go on top of Shady Shoals. 
Okay. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do this. And when we get in, you're gonna want to cruise boost off the box. I'm gonna do an RCB, or I'm gonna try to. And then you can just cruise boost off the box. Then don't get hit by this because you lose your cruise boost. Make sure you're facing in here. And then what you want to do is you want to come up to this platform where you would regularly do the skip and just bash and slam if you need it. Then try and point your camera towards the gate and get this back. Sometimes you'll get a camera lock, sometimes you won't. Next is funnels. This is just going to be like you would regularly do it, just funnels. However, I'm going to show you a sock that you can get. I don't get this sock in this route, but if you need it and if you can, then you might want to get this sock if you need it. You want to try and like face some jumps and get up here. That was actually really good. I don't know why that was really good, but... Funnels is basically like you would do it in any category in the game. Same exact thing. Same thing with the next bat, the Towers of Power. Whoa. Ooh, up we go. Towers by the clam. And get the stat from her man. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Pretty self-explanatory. Same thing with Towers of Power to be honest. You can do melons or slam, but slam is faster. Always do slams. And you wanna just if I don't fail, slam, 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 go in a circle until you get to the end. Fail twice. Was. Once you get here, then you want to go forward. and talk to Barnacle Boy and get this back. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Now you want to hit the button, and we're going to do the uh, security tunnel skip, whatever it's called. So you want to get stuck here. I like to have this head bop five times, so three, four, five. Aim a little, aim to the lamp, jump and hold to the right. I'm not going to explain that too much, but just not like five times is what I do. Then we're going to do prawn skip. You want to get cruise juice off the wall. If I can get cruise juice, that'd be great. Down to the pole, bash, slam if you need to, and then clip out, I'll clip out. Then get up here, bash, and then face towards the door at the entrance, and then hold your camera down to make sure that you're over the thing. And that's prawns. Uh, just another little. I'm not gonna get prawn skip again. I'm gonna warp to prawn before I do. But I'm up here, get stuck in the little corner. There's like a corner here, and have Bob face it, and then just do, and then just jump towards where the entrance is. And then we're going to go out here and we're going to do security tunnel now. This segment's pretty fun. Also annoying. You can do it a few ways. I believe that there's uh, a 
be way so you can jump to the thing like you would in any person or yeah. pretty much any category again i'm gonna show that first but you're gonna get hit by the chuck if you do that so i'd recommend destroying the chuck first if you're gonna do that however what i like to do make sure you're on a good cycle make sure that the bottom one is not coming towards you or else you're not going to be able to do this i like to bash slam up here now you want to run to the other side bash on top of here and then we just jump over make sure you get the button and then we get this back next is brc uh, it's kind of hard to explain BRC, so I'm just going to say Use boost and a frame later hold the stick uh, In the in like the left or the right you can do left or right Also, you can optimally do a DVB there. I believe it's called but get the button before you do BRC Even though we warp back Get the button before you do BRC Sometimes this trick doesn't like me, but today it's alright. We're back to the ballroom and go through the gate. Then we're just going to get the two spats with the button. Go. Now we're gonna go and do arc skip. This is one of the spats that you can replace with guppy mound. So if you do guppy mound, then I would recommend just not doing arc skip and probably another spat. I don't know what other spat you wouldn't do. That's up to you. But like I said, you need lie clips. Copy mound is for if you don't want to do two spats and Welcome if you don't want to do four of the songs. Oh. I'm just going to show off hard skip. Okay, neutral food boost, so don't hold your stick like forward, left, right, whatever. Go on top of puff and bash on the blue thing. And then now we just do the lag clip. Sometimes it doesn't want to work, keep in mind, so... Make sure you have a lot of downwards momentum, and if you can, try and get the text box to get back up there. If not, it's okay. Talk to her when you respawn, or when you warp back, and get this back. Next, we're going to do the slide skip. So you get a cruise boost off this. Whoops. Don't do that. Okay, we don't do bathroom boots. Don't do this. So go around the rock, and then lose it here, and cruise bubble up. This next rock can be kind of tough to get a cruise boost off of, but find a place where you can, and then you would just get a cruise boost. Walk the bubble buddy, then come and just jump, jump, spin if you need to slam, slam. And we're getting our uh, two socks, and then we're going to get this back. I like to hold the camera down, so like, hold the camera down, and you can get a camera lock. It doesn't really matter, doesn't lose your save time, whatever. And then we warp to the first bat, and get another cruise boost, and we're going to do swing along. Same thing as always. So, uh... Oh, 
don't know why I'm struggling so much to get good boost this again. Then you want to come up here, bash, slam, and boom. And then you can just double jump, spin, slam. Come to the rock. Whoops. With this. And then we want to do this skip. Remember that you're, you have to have your analog in neutral whenever you do all this until you get off the shift two keys. And then I'm going to show the Sandy Museum. So we're just going to do that. Okay, Sandy Museum. I'm going to show two different ways. Keep in mind, if you don't do the first way, then you're going to need an extra saw. Or if you don't do the... Yeah, if you don't do the first way, you're going to need an extra saw. They're both the same. Just one goes to the left and one goes to the right. Come up here. And you have to wait. Now go here. Also, keep in mind, if you don't... If you do to the one to the right, you're getting a free saw. If you do to the left, then you're not getting a free saw. It's a zero second saw. Then you want to come over here, get to the tire, and turn your camera a bit to the right, and then double jump and hold the lasso while turning the camera to the right. And if you if you do it right, then you should grab. I didn't grab there. But if you do it right, then you should grab. Then jump over here, get this off, and get this back. I'm going to show the other way now, the way that you regularly would do in any percent, which I actually do that at Sandy Museum in every category. Just because it's a zero second sock and I'm not doing Sponge Museum. It's probably more worth it, but I would recommend trying it. Oops, I got hit. Okay, here's the other way. This way is easier in my opinion because it doesn't need as precise movement in the second half of it. You don't need to like all but to get to the other higher as much to be on a fast cycle what you want to do i would recommend getting this in case you fail which that's another thing on the other side you you don't get a trigger for a checkpoint so if you go to that side you have to get it on first try or else you're losing the whole museum time and we just come over here same thing Oops. Oh! And then you would get the sock and get that. After you do Sandy Museum, warp to the second spat. Because we're going to go to the trench now. Nice. Press B, get a cruise boost off the box. And then run over here and go through the gate. And then we get this, okay. Now we're gonna warp to across the trench. You can do the sleepy skip, you can do the cruise boost way, whatever. I'm gonna show a few ways of the cruise boost and I'm gonna try and show you sleepy skip. I'm not gonna explain it, but I'm gonna show you what sleepy skip is. Because I'm not too good at explaining sleepy skip. And I failed it, but anyways. All right. I'm going to show you the furthest way of doing this, and then I'm going to show you the closer ways. This is if you can't do the closest way, then I would do this. First way, you can uh, get the little jump boost from here. Second way, I'm going to try and show you. Get on top of the rock, and you can double jump your way there. So double jump spin slam. 
And then the final way, which is the way that I would recommend you learning, is just going on top of this and spinning up here. Yeah, I got a double jump. Try and uh, do it earlier. Then what we would do is you would double jump, spin, slam, get rid of your boost. Since we're going to get the sock after, if you don't get the sock, don't worry about getting rid of the boost. But if you are, then double jump, spin, you'll end on a wall, get the sock, and we're going to warp to Sand Mountain. We're going to warp to the hub again. On the way to Sand Mountain, make sure you get the sock. So just come over here, spin, and then bowl into the pad, and you'll get it. Sand Mountain, where sea creatures go okay, to skip enjoy this. First thing we're gonna do, get a cruise boost. So you get a cruise boost. Come over here, try and stay as far to the right as you can. And we're gonna bash slam. This is to avoid the plankton text box. And then we're gonna do the lodge. If you wanna get the sock, get it. I think it loses some time to get the sock. Uh, it's in my route, but you don't have to. You can do one of the backups. And yeah, okay. I forgot to split there, but okay. Now we're gonna warp to down. We're gonna warp to the first back on top of the pineapple. And you can do the cutscene skip. I'm gonna do it here and just show you it. Basically, you don't want to, if you're missing it, you're jumping too early from the tire. Down, you want to get a cruise boost here, and we're going to do Tiki's Go Boom like the beginner any percent route. So get a cruise boost. You can also get the RCB over there, or the uh, MCB, I mean, off this wall. Make sure you don't slide into the abyss. Make sure you slide into somewhere where you'll get stuck. If we don't need the shinies, you don't need to slide into the middle. And then we're going to fail it, we're going to jump up here. Jump, jump, spin. Try and get on top of that one. If you can't, then it's okay. Then if you can't get the buttons with the cruise boost, it's okay. Just get rid of it and try and get the buttons without it. Make sure you're not going into out of bounds if you do a whiff. And then do the platforming to get on top of this. That was actually really good. So I'm just going to split here. Get a cruise boost off the door if you need it. Don't try and get one off this thing like they said in the beginner tutorial. Get one off that door. It's ten times easier. And make sure you get rid of this guy before you do it. And then what we want to do... You can get the sock over here. You don't need to get the sock over there. It's not a thing. Let me scroll up real quick. Yeah, you don't need to. But if you restore a sock, this is another good option. Then you would optimally do a Tartar Bash. I'm not going to go and collect it, but... What you want to do now, bash, and then jump over the fence. Bash, and then jump over here. I'm not going to explain the backup, but you just double jump and get the sock. And then, same thing here. I'm not going to explain the backups, I'm just going to do it. Because it doesn't feel like super, super important. However, I am going to explain this backup so you don't have to switch to Sandy. So if you lost your crude boost or if you did whatever, then just get crude boost again. And make sure you explode this while you do so. Talk to Gary. And what we're going to do, jump over here, jump over here. Then you, it's kind of hard to get the jump down if you do this, but it does work. I lagged and so the bash wouldn't work, or the slam wouldn't work.
and we're going to go into rooftops. You can get a cruise boost before or after this What's fat. That? I like getting one before, so you don't have to get one after. Because we're doing the we're doing the rest of rooftops and lighthouse. If you get one before, then be sure you get the button right, and then let's do the rooftops. Jump like a bit after, and then do this. I'm gonna try and explain this a little bit, but not really. I guess so. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do rooftop two. Come up here, spin, and try and get the sock. And then you want to have really good jump spacing. Jump, jump, spin, yes. slam. If you need to do this, come over here and bash on top of this little, uh, I don't know what color this is, like blue thing. And then jump over here on top of the antennas. If not, you can do the antenna bash here, which I think is, it's a lot faster, like five seconds. If you can actually do it. I'm missing it. But you get the point. Why am I missing this? You can you can bash flam or double jump. The double jump way I feel is less consistent. And then you can either bash jump here or you can just walk off a little bit, jump, jump, spin, slam. Either way, you want to use the 15 frames that you have to walk off to use something. Well, and also spinning before you go off that platform to get rid of the downward momentum that you can space to get over here. And then what we do is we would just come over here, zoom in your camera, and yeah, that's roof off. What you can do, if you can, then bash. I don't ever get this, so I like to just get the button and go up there. Ready for another fantastic day. Here we go. Now we're gonna go up here. Before we get do anything, get this off. Just like double jump tap to land on top of the wheel and then bash to turn yourself around and space to double jump spin and destroy the bot and this stay right here as you'll fall and get to the dupe next go two of the big pulls over you'll get that one two of the pulls over again and then this one same thing that one i kind of missed but there's the big pulls in time belt there's these brown poles that are going vertical and it goes like it's on the same one after the first one and then two over after that and go to the bottom. And then you want to get both dupes and destroy the bots on the bottom. Failing again, so don't worry about it. That was kind of a lot. You need help with rooftops, then just rewatch it. You'll see what I mean by the two black platforms. Or I mean brown, why I'm calling black. And then we're gonna do this. Okay, that was a bad lighthouse. Don't don't try and do a bad lighthouse like that. Next we're gonna go to Kelp 4 or our Crusty Crab I mean. So we're gonna do the Crusty Crab now. And at the end we're gonna do a crabs trade. If you've ever done duping, this is basically just like duping, but we're doing it in Hub 3, and it's the 8th Crab trade anyways. So just do the Crusty Crab like this, get on top of that stack to destroy that one bot, and we'll do this. These guys can be kind of a pain, be sure you're on the tables and stuff if you need to. And yeah, so what we're going to do now... Try to do this. Phew. Okay. You're gonna double jump over crabs and press R when you're at the top of your double jump and try and fall onto the spat. So like this. That. You can see kind of how I double jumped over it. Now I actually got one animation there. That was really good. I've never done that. Okay. 
it all of a sudden wants to work. So now we want to go to Kelp Forest. Pull into the attack you pad to try and get the skip. I very rarely do, so... But you can try and bowl into it to get it. And then we're going to want to get a cruise boost. And we're going to want to go on top of the leaf trampolines. So yeah, just cruise boost and then do this. I'm going to show the more advanced way of doing the slide skip. But do whatever slide skip you're comfortable with. What you want to do is you want to get a crew boost on the box. And then you're going to want to spam A. And then before you fall off turn, down to this wooden platform, you can see where kind of, you kind of get stuck. I have to go and redo it, but you kind of get stuck. And while you're stuck there, bash and hold to the right. And turn your camera as well to the right. And try and land back on the platform rather than going down the kind of difficult, I'd recommend practicing it a few times before you actually do it in runs. That goes for most everything that you do. But, here we go. Also, basically everything from here on out is what you would do in any person. It's basically the same exact thing as me. You want to try and camera lock into the side of the, the left side of the wall, not towards the gate. And once you get here, B, and try and have your camera aim towards the gate. I have it so I'm going to fall off. Almost. If you have it towards the gate, then you can instantly enter the gate. Next, get the spat. Okay. And then we're going to go to through the kelp caves. Hey, kid. Press B. Bowl into the gate. Always remember bowling into your gates. Really helpful. Then you wanna get, you're going to want to get the spat. Which I did fast for whatever reason. Then we're going to cruise bubble down and get the button. And you're going to jump down and get the cage. There's also a Swamp Cage Clip, but we don't do Swamp Cage Clip here. It's not needed, it saves like 5 seconds. Don't do it. It's really inconsistent. We'll get the spat. And once we get the spat, warp to the third spat, which is Tiki Roundup. So I'm gonna get the spat. Okay, get the woods. And then we're gonna go down and warp, or we're gonna go up. Don't warp down to crabs as you won't go to hub three. Warp up and go to on top of the chum bucket. Now, what we wanna do is you wanna get the saw. From the dumpster and bowl into the thing. If you didn't get or if you need a replacement sock, there's gonna be two socks here. I think I get one of them. I might get both of them now that I think about it, but I could be wrong. One of them is Graveyard Lake, which you can do pull boost and do the fast way, but I'm gonna show the slower way so that you don't have to do pull boost and more than that because it's stupid. Okay, so what we have to do, if you're not getting the sock, I'm going to show that movement first. If you're not getting the sock, jump over here, double jump slam, and if you miss this, then just bash up. Then land here. If you're getting the sock, then the way I do it, I'm going to drown because I'm just going to reset it. Also worth noting too, I forgot to mention skip. We'll go over the cutscene skip. Let's like do that. 
And what we're gonna do, I like getting rid of the chalk, you don't have to. Get them to the left stack and face towards the pillars. I can't get over there. Oh. Face towards the pillars, bash slam. And then double jump, spin, slam. You get the sock, double jump, spin, slam again. I missed. Because I didn't slam. And you're going to want to get yourself stuck in the rocks. Don't get rid of your cruise boost like what they say in the tutorials. That loses time. And you could just get yourself stuck in the rocks. Uh, just be one million percent sure that you're not going anywhere to get yourself stuck. Stuck in the rock. So get this, then, then get the cruise bubble to come out. It's really easy if you're stuck after you spin. And then get the gate, get the uh, tinker. And then we're gonna go and get the tinker spell. Make sure you get your self on the right side. Don't go into the goo. That's bad. And come over here. I like to do this. You can do any way of the out of bounds you know. But you could just go onto the trampoline and bounce up here. And we're gonna get to this bat. I forgot to split. Whoops. Jump, jump, spin if you need to slam, slam. And then angle your camera towards the ship. And then collect this bat. You can also zoom in. I like angling it towards the ship. It's more consistent for me. Then what we'll you do? Then go into the gate. Okay, for this sock, you can do squid boost where you and RCB off squid, or you can come do the box. If you need the sock. I believe this is the one in the route. The graveyard light bulb was not, which is a five second sock, but this one is. Come over here, and you're gonna basically jump, jump, spin to get the sock. I'm gonna warp, I'm gonna die, and warp back up there, and basically show you what you would do otherwise. Otherwise, you just walk. No, I didn't need to die and show you that, but you literally just walk there and try and get this back. If you don't have a cruise boost, it's a lot harder to bash if you miss this, so just try not to miss it. Then we're gonna, we're gonna warp to Shipwreck Bungie. And we're gonna do wall jump skip. If you can't do wall jump skip, just do wall jumps regularly. Or if you know boat bash, do boat bash. But basically, get cruise boost. Which this is an MTB. To be sure that you're pressing the cruise bolt button after you get it. But, Boost Bubble doesn't like me right now. So we're gonna jump over that. When you get to this bottom platform, jump, jump, and then you get hit by the chuck. You can get the chuck out here if you need to. But he shouldn't be an issue if you're doing this correctly. So you're gonna jump, jump, and bash. Jump, jump to that. Then turn yourself a little bit and jump slam. That's kind of it's kind of hard to get. Don't know how to explain it much better, but there you go. Now we're gonna do cannons. Uh, I'm gonna show the easiest way to do the cannons. There's like slight things that'll be better for movement, but I'm gonna show the slowest way. It is the easiest way. First thing first, get it. And then try and manip the chuck. Then the cannon. Come to this stack of barrels and bash. And jump over here. Jump to these platforms and we're gonna go up. Then that. Then the third cannon. And then bounce here. You can get this bat before or after. It doesn't really matter. 
but you're gonna get the spat and the you're gonna get everything anyways. So I like to jump over here and like I said, you can get rid of your cruise boost, you can do whatever, it don't matter. But either way, you're gonna be getting everything. So just do it however you know. So get rid of it, get the spat, do the trampoline thing, and then come down here and do the button, do the button, do the spat, then do the other stuff, do whatever. I said. It's very minimal time loss, however you do it. That's not the fastest. Alright, so now what we want to do is you want to get the spat and then we warp the duck mill. So we're going to do Dutchman Skip. It's the same way we do it in the any person beginner stuff, but I'm going to kind of explain it. First way, first thing we do is get cruise boots. I don't know about anyone else, but I've always found this this plus harder to get cruise boots than everywhere else. I don't know why, I've always found it more difficult. Jump up here, hang along the side, bash, go off with the 15 frames and bash slam. That's kind of a tight jump. Then jump up here, jump up here and get stuck, jump up here and get stuck again. Make sure you're barely sliding to the uh, right. Top jump, bash when you get onto that peak, and then slam. Come over here, make sure that you're covering the first thing like I have it about half then we're gonna jump jump or jump spin I missed it because I didn't know what I was doing for a second but you jump spin just like the prawn trigger we're trying to get over where we enter like where the where we spawn that's where you want to try and get to with that trigger And then pull off your cruise boost if you're doing GCLT, or else you can go into the void. If you're not doing GCLC when you went to the void, then warp to the first bat and get a cruise boost and go straight to where the clam isn't paid. Or else go to GCLC. What we do for GCLT is you get a neutral cruise boost, then you can bash, you can do whatever, just get down into momentum. And then we just uh, do the menu and stuff. I spam L and the stuff, but you don't have to spam L from what I've recently learned. You could just do the menuing. If you want to try and get the cruise boost out, it'll be easier. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to Squid's house. Uh, warp up on top of the chum bucket. I don't know what my menuing was there, but... Because crabs is in hub 2, it's going to be slower. Or put that on top, or on top of the pineapple, I mean. And then we're going to do Squid's House. If you need the sock, do it with the sock. If you don't need it with the sock, do it, don't do it with the sock. Put 5 seconds off. I would recommend it if you don't do Squid's Stream Sock. Or it's, it's a 5 second sock done optimally. Which I missed the overlap. I'm kind of bad with that, but okay. Hey, I split when we leave Squid's house. And then you do your pat trades. You should have two of them. If I got eight socks more than you would get. Then we're gonna do Poseidon Flip, which I'm gonna try and explain. Alright. So go into Poseidon. What we're gonna do for Poseidon Clip, hold forward. And bash at the E. So like when you hold forward, you're gonna go to the E. D, bash. Hit, hit. Hold a bit to the left. And bash. Uh, bash whenever Sandy comes down. And it should clip you through. Let's see if I can get a second try. So bash, damage. Sometimes you can hold forward and it'll work. But if not, then yeah. There's some other videos about the side on clip. I'm gonna try and link one to you in the description. After you do the side on clip, warp to 
any of the first three spats hey, in Bikini Plankton. Bottom. And we're going to do the tree dome. Then if you need help with Poseidon Clip, then watch one of the videos in the description. Daddy, or watch the video in the description. Leaking. It's by Jackson. It's really helpful for describing that. Okay, so press B, press A. Which we have to reset because we took too long. You're going to want to bowl the dupe that you can see. So bowl the dupe. Sometimes I go way to the left. It's okay if you go past it. Just do this like you would in early game. But since we have the bubble bowl, this is faster. Bowl the dupe. Let that guy live. And then put this guy into the dupe if you can. No, that's completely fine. You already destroyed the dupe, so come over here. Now, come up to the branch and charge a bowl a little bit and try and hit that guy. It takes some practice to get that, but, do, but if you can, then do it. Get the spat. Now we should have 75 spats, and we should be ready to fight Robo Sponge. You can do the RCB if you're hey, comfortable with it, yes. but I like doing this. And we're gonna go into Sponge. Now, when you load in, immediately press L. So, like, if we're bubble, like, uh, left trigger, and you're gonna get two of his little fuse things. No, it's one of the then hit Rubble Plankton, detonate the cruise boost yourself. Then, right here, practice this a little bit if you still haven't gotten it. I mean, not needed. But you can, but it would help. And then I'm gonna do small shell roller, not skip. Will SpongeBob not the be able to neutralize circuit. the giant robot's brain? We're gonna do this. Oh, close no. encounters of the painful kind. And then you come over here. Here and do this and then get the last fuse and when you get the last fuse split and you're done with ng for done learning the ng plus route so there you go that's ng plus some of the spats i feel are difficult that i'm gonna explain that i'm gonna uh tell you you should practice of course practice everything if you need to but uh let me see Squid dream if you don't know Squid Dream good enough, then practice Squid Dream. Uh, practice the Forbidden and Oil Skip stuff. Full Jump. Uh, practice the uh, getting around the cutscene trigger in Dilemma. Talon King Skip, if you need to. Normal Air. Uh, security Tunnel, definitely. A little bit. Rock bottom, oh, not a line rock bottom, just carnation, I guess. That does it. I'm becoming a lawyer. And downtown, have... practice rooftops. Help forest, it's pretty simple. FPG, simple. Practice Poseidon clip. Practice Poseidon clip. It's something new and different that you've never seen, never done. Practice it. Again, the tutorial I'll link in the description by Jackson is a very good, helpful uh, little starter for that. It's not going to be something that you get on your first attempt. Practice it. It's going to be less frustrating the more you do it. There's also a Swagmaster one, but then I'll probably link that one. Uh, but yeah, that's the tutorial. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned NG Plus, and I hope that this is. A good route for you. And I'll see you later. Have a good day. Bye.